finally tonight, a remarkable event in England today, the sale of a piece of history that connects us to one of the most famous tragedies of all time, the sinking of the Titanic. <laughs> A little piece of history going under the hammer on Saturday in the UK for more than a million euros. A violin that belonged to the bandmaster on board the Titanic. It is iconic. It represents bravery in human nature. The way this young man and his colleagues and all the people that behaved bravely on the ship stayed and fulfilled their duty. Wallace Hartley led the eight-person band on board the ill-fated vessel playing for passengers as it sunk beneath them in the icy northern Atlantic. None of the band survived, though Hartley's body was recovered nearly two weeks later, along with his violin. After that, the instrument was lost for decades, until it was found in storage in the UK in 2006. For auctioneers who had it extensively authenticated, it's not about what it's worth, but what it means as an artifact. The violin was reputedly found in a case strapped to Hartley's body, rediscovered seven years ago and authenticated its thought to now belong to a British collector. Some, though, still doubt whether it's genuine, claiming it could not have survived being submerged underwater. The one thing everyone knows about the Titanic is that the band played as the ship went down. And this is the band leader's violin. I guessed in my mind 675, but it's gone over a million. And that is five times more than any other Titanic item has ever sold for. But from now on, it's clear this piece of Titanic history will never again be overlooked.